Go for it. Cheers and applause, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our umpteenth edition of Live from the Parlor. We oh, I forgot my hat. I forgot my hat, and my hair is awfully long. Perhaps we'll send someone from production crew to fetch my hat. Oh, okay. does it look that bad? Is that no, okay? you're fine, and it's it's going to be getting real warm in here with the playing and the no AC and no windows. That's so true. That's true. Roll with it. Every Frightfully old school, no central <laughs> air conditioning. Anyway, that's okay. That's uh, you don't have to know. You don't have to know. <laughs> Welcome to our show. Tonight, we invite you to roll up the carpet, or let me sit on the carpet, whatever's easier, and uh, we're going to enjoy a vintage dance party. What does that mean? Woo is right. What does that mean? That means shadishes and polkas and waltzes and one steps, two steps, all sorts of things. And no vintage dance would be complete without a grand march to get us going. So, <laughs> out of your chairs! <laughs> Thank you. 
us going, and a grand march. That was called Das Macht der Berliner Luft, the March of the Spirit of Berlin. And speaking of beer, our beverage tonight is a hoppy, delightful little number here. Tonight's show is brought to you by La Fin du Monde, a beer that <laughs> translates loosely into what we're all going through right now. Yeah. But anyway, there we go, La Fin du Monde. It's a nice, sparkling little beer from up Canada way. Mm. Mm. So there you have it. That's our that's our sponsor tonight. They don't know it, but well, and for all of you jazzers and you ragtimers and you folks that love this, the other stuff. Oh, and I have a pillow this week too. We are high for cotton this week. For the first time, man. For the I first just... time. Wow. <laughs> so we're high cotton tonight. But yeah, for all you ragtime and you jazzers, don't worry. It's not going to be all fusty marches and things like that. We're going to throw in some other things like some foxtrots and some jazz. So plenty of good stuff for everyone. Everyone eats when they come to my house. <laughs> Questions, dear, you can make them clear. For your answers, I am yearning like a schoolboy deep in learning. But I've tried in vain, with all my might and main, all the knowledge learned at college still that don't explain. Tell me why nights are lonesome. Tell me why days are blue. Puncher, puncher of piano rolls back in the old days. And he sold that tune in 1919 for something like $20,000. Oh. Something incredible. Yet nobody knows it. Yet nobody knows it. Fat Swallower go around to sell his songs several times a day to different people. And we all know those. But uh, Max Cortlander, sadly forgotten. Sadly forgotten. I really don't know what Max Cortlander had to do with Fat Swallower there, but. But, hey, hey, you know. hey, the magic of live theater. <laughs> I have a. Uh, once again triumphed over technology and I have figured out how to pin the comment and save Danielle a lot of typing from having to put the Venmo <laughs> and the PayPal over and over. I have, I have figured it out. It is pinned at the top. Our wonderful Venmo and our PayPal information. Yes. And we also have this sign here. That's wonderful sign that says well, kitty faces Venmo, great. kitty faces, feed those kitties. They're hungry. They're hungry. <laughs> I, I would say have, it's cold out, but no one would believe that. I should have drawn a really, you know, emaciated cats. I think that would have been good <laughs> encouraged. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ticket. That's the ticket. <laughs> All right. Dancers don't like a whole lot of talking between their tunes, so I got to get a move on. Here's a waltz. But not up there. Sorry, Connie Francis. It's a waltz. <laughs> 
you smiled when we parted, it hurt me somehow. I thought there was nothing worthwhile. But tables are turning and you're crying now. While I am just learning to smile. because they've chimed in, or they're tuning in and having a good time tonight. Yay! It's Yay. like, are you lonesome tonight? It's rhetorical. Yeah. <laughs> it's a rhetorical question. The royal we. I love in du monde. Yeah. That's a good one. We have some special guests in the house tonight, other than the dog. I have some show and tell items we'll be getting to a little bit later. Some vintage sheet music that's pretty cool out of the collection. And also a, a new instrument that yes. has been purchased today. That's right. <laughs> Welcomed into the family. You don't really purchase things like this. You you attain temporary stewardship. That's true. Custody. <laughs> yes. Custody. But um it didn't cost a lot of money, so 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 please don't say, "Oh, he went and bought something. I'm not going to tell." No, no, we're not we're not saying that. Oh no. We found it on the street. We we are so cheap in this house. <laughs> Nothing in this house really costs a lot of money. Let's be honest. <laughs> that is true. That's why we're here. The dog was free. Hey. <laughs> well, let's see here. Let's do one step. Let's do one step. That's uh, you can use both your feet though. Use both your feet. You'll need them. Thank <laughs> you. 
With three, you get egg roll. <laughs> well, how are our requests doing already? There, Looks like we've got well, some coming in. We've got a few lined up, but interestingly enough, um, uh, Deborah, who's um, a fellow fan of the Andy Griffith Show, said Aunt B really likes Chinatown, my Chinatown. Is that so? I guess so. I guess the character does. I didn't see that one. Ah. Kind of like that episode of Gilligan's Island. I... <laughs> <laughs> Where he spoiled it for everyone. Well, yeah, there's I said, that. I didn't see that. I do remember there was an episode where Aunt B got lit up drunk on patent medicine or something and, and was, was caught playing Toot Toot Tootsie on the piano and going crazy. Oh, man. Um, so She was really a horrible person. She wasn't very nice, actually, off, off, you we'll know, on the set. That. She wasn't, you know, I think she actually apologized after the fact for, for being kind of a handful, but fabulous character, nonetheless. That's true, that's true. Ah, a ukulele tune. She spies the ukulele up there. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll get that on the... We, we're actually taking breaks in this, since it is a dance show. Yeah, that's um, true. We're going to break it up into three sets with some more orchestra music. So the music never actually really stops. No, no. Just kind of keeps rolling. Right. Yeah. So we'll get, we'll get some of these on. There's, well, these are good. These are good here. Uh, Bridget, your tune's actually part of the set list. It's one of our castle walks. I figured so. I said, you know, if this is a dance night, we're going to have a castle walk, and obviously we're going to go with too much mustard. Oh, so, yes. Yeah. All right. Great. Yeah, sagu. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, muy bien. Muy bien. Because it's French. That's right. That's right. I should have taken German in high school. I don't know why I took French. <laughs> I don't know why. I already liked all this accordion stuff, but I decided I would take French. Oh well. Blame it on my youth. Well, here's a tune here. This is a free space on your bingo card. You can foxtrot to it. You can two-step to it. Or if you're uh, if you've got a green belt or above in vintage dancing, you can toddle. Here's one called My Sweet Tooth Says I Wanna, but my wisdom tooth says no. How's that for a title? Let's see, how's that thing go? Oh yeah. <laughs>
a stock. And a stock. A stock? Man, you, you got that one from Vince. Didn't he recommend that? Years ago. Yeah. Yeah, years ago. Uh, I was hanging out with Vince Giordano in New York, and I said, do you have any dupes you'd be willing to sell? <laughs> 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 and uh, here, here's the great thing about it. We dug through all these milk crates of, of at least the dupes of the day. Dupes of the day, because he's got tons. <laughs> and um, I was looking at it, and I actually didn't know the tune yet at the time. And he said, hey, Mike, get that one. He said, get that one. That one's good. And I, I thought, well, hey, the title alone is worth the price of admission. But, hey, it's a great tune. And that's a stock, the same stock that um, Vince Selvin used it, but also so did Fletcher Henderson. Fletcher Henderson was a hell of an arranger in his own right, but I guess he knew when he was licked and when it's just best to, best to record a stock. And it wasn't even a Skinner stock. It was a Fred Loring. Fred Loring, not Peter Loring. No. <laughs> Fred Loring. <laughs> well, after that, we need a moment of uh, a moment of zen. So grab your dance partner. Let's do a nice slow waltz this time. Here's an Irving. Not you, do Dad. Not you. Dude. Yeah. Here's a nice little tune. Irving Berlin wrote in 1912. 11 or 12. Fact checkers go to work. He wrote this in 1912 for uh, upon the death of his first wife. This is the tune they went to on a honeymoon, and uh, that was about it because she became terribly ill after that, and they never really got to enjoy a happy life together. So this is the tune he wrote in her memory. It's called "When I Lost You." <laughs> tragic tune there called When I Lost You, written by Irving Berlin. Nice little beautiful waltz and a palate cleanser after that last uh, bit of <laughs> frivolity there. Speaking of a palate cleanser, maybe that's been bon. Yes. That is good. That is good. Not for everybody, but it's good. I have my friend Doug to thank for ah, introducing me to that. He knows the good beers. He does. He makes good beers, too. He makes good beers. Up in Dayton, you can go find Doug. Not right now, but <laughs> he's up there. I had a request to do a polka, so a polka you shall get. I had a different one listed here, but I actually was a good son, and I called my parents before the show began, and I asked if they had any requests, and my pop said, I want to hear A9. He's referring to, that's the number that is known as in the polka band books that I have. So A9 is better known as Repite, written by the same guy who wrote the beer barrel polka, only a few years later. So it goes like this. Uh, 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 oh yeah, yeah. Thank you. 
jednom na svete. a Czech composer, wrote Beer Barrel in 1927, that's why you find it in the Slingers books, uh, and also, uh, you know, Repete is written in the 30s, uh, about 10 years later, 10, 12 years later, and, uh, you know, he was started off just a, your average songwriter, and uh, not really much of anybody, wrote Beer Barrel, and his whole world took off. He always had lots of women around him then, but he got married, and he stayed with his wife for his whole life. Nice. She was his Czech mate. Checkmate. Here's the checkmate. <laughs> and uh, all those women wanted him, and all the publishing houses wanted him. Even Hollywood called. He was a hot check. Uh, are you going to make any trampoline jokes? No, it has a rule of three. Bounce check. Oh, a bounced check. <laughs> that's new. I was going to say how he died in 1993, and that's when he became a cancel check. But anyway, uh. Uh -huh. wagga wagga, keep drinking everyone. Anyway, let's do a foxtrot now. Here's a lovely tune here. I'll try, I won't sing it like Sid Gary, but I'll sing it in my own voice for you. This is a beautiful little tune called When the World is at Rest. Evening, evening, I welcome you. When the shadows creep, the sun's in the west. Evening, evening, day's work is through, and soon the world's at rest. Flowers droop their heads, that's the way they go to bed when the world is at rest. Bees are in their comb, master sugar coated home when the world is at rest. Night birds coo and call, moon stars to crawl. Little stars cry up, tumble, and fall. Bees are in their comb, master sugar coated home when the world is at rest. There's a love refrain, it goes out from lover's lane when the world is at rest. I'll have my own blue heaven, a flowered nest. Oh, I'm in heaven there with my angel when the world is at rest. Sugar-coated home when the world is at rest. 
sends a love refrain. It goes out the lover's name when the world is at rest. I'll have my own blue heaven, a flower nest. Oh, I'm in heaven there with my angel when the world is at rest. That's a neat little tune there. When the world is yeah. at rest. There's a recording of a guy named Sid Gary singing that. He's like, Heaven, I welcome <laughs> you. No. Very well. And people want to pick on Irving Kaufman. Yeah. I'm sorry. Plenty of other targets. Plenty of other targets. That's Irving right. is fantastic. That's right. You know what? Well, here's a tune for you here. Again, a free space on your bingo card. You can foxtrot to it. You can shottish to it. Here's a little tune introduced in the tune, uh, I'm sorry, a show called Three Twins. This is called the Yama Yama Man. Ooh. Every little thought at night is the freight of the dark you know. Yama man is there when it's off to bed they go. Big, mean, scary eyes you'll see, so you cover up your head. Cause that big Yama man is there standing right beside your bed. Yama, Yama, Yama man, terrible eyes and a long bony hand. You better watch out, he'll catch you without a doubt. you unaware. So run to your mama, here comes the yama, the yama, the yama Cellos, yo yo ma man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Don't you love the up to date humor yeah. <laughs> on these shows? <laughs> Telling you. Well, here's one for Miss Bridget Cowzaretta. Here's your request. This is another, speaking of the castles, you know, that, that last one, you're like a castle shotish. That you're, was the castle shotish. That's right. Yep. I gotta see that in action. I'll show you. It's really is, cool. is it in the Fred Astaire movie? No, I don't think it's in that one. The, the Yama Yama Man is shown in the film where she's sort of pseudo-auditioning for Vernon Castle, and she has the silly Yama outfit with the gloves. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, the, the, the castle shot is um, Flying Cloud had the, the choreography based on it. Yeah. So let's do another castle tune, a castle walk this time. Perhaps the castle walk to end all castle walks. Frey Mutard or Too Much Mustard. <laughs>
In our in our family here. Yes, that's a story time's coming up. Story time's coming up. <laughs> well, I'm tearing through my own set list that I made, so I want to make sure I'm going to interject a couple of your requests here. Um, Got to get the uh, the ukulele going for Patty here in a little bit. I didn't bring down the the George Formby lyrics, but I'll go get them. I'll go get them. Larry Emmett says a German drinking song. Now that's that's a pretty wide uh, berth. Pretty pretty wide. Uh, area to work with. That's convenient. Yeah. German drinking songs, and considering that I am drinking a nice a nice German beer from Canada. <laughs> Here's a number for you. Here, this is a, a drinking tune here. Well, uh, I tell you what, actually, I'll do an assault with a medley weapon. <laughs> ah, a medley of tunes from the Rhineland. The Rhineland is actually kind of like a German wine country. So, yeah, how about that? You can shunkle. Shunking's where you go left, and right and left and right. Just make sure at home you're doing the same left and right so you don't bop heads. Here's a medley of tunes that come from the Rhineland. It's simply called, this is a great title, the Rhine Medley. Warum ist es am Rhein so schön? Warum ist es am Rhein so schön? Warum ist es am Rhein so schön? Nothing on the official Tricky Toe, so 
get to your tables, grab your beer, push that stinky <laughs> old water off, and grab a beverage. And let's sing. Ein Prosik, ein Prosik, der Gemütlichkeit. Ein Prosik, ein Prosik, der Gemütlichkeit. Eins, zwei, drei, ziggy tagi ziggy tagi Oi, oi, oi. ziggy tagi ziggy tagi Oi, oi, oi. Prost. Juhu. Trink up. Look at that. Look at how this grapefruit rattler goes with <laughs> Bakelite. Cat actually asked where I was, if I was going to make an appearance. So, Cat, I, I dressed for you tonight. You got some new ones. I do. You're sporting. I do. I, I, my, my big old chunky guy right here. Cat, you'd be so proud. I found that one today at an antique mall for $4.50. <laughs> like Wonder Woman. <laughs> Enjoy, everyone. Oh. Yes, Miss Danielle, proof not all heroes wear capes. No, we wear bacon on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There you go. It's more aerodynamic. Yeah. It's more aerodynamic. Yeah. Let's do a cakewalk, folks. Yay. Which is not about no. going to the school carnival and going, walking around in a circle and dancing till the music stops. That's not a cakewalk. Cakewalk is where you like go crazy and throw your... John Ree Torres is a good cakewalk Yes. Man. There's okay. a lot more to a cakewalk than just stepping on a right mm -hmm. square. You got a word for it. So here's one of my favorites, written uh, 1901, way back when. <laughs> Creole Bells. Or as the Edison guy would say, Creole Bells. <laughs> ah, intro, intro. You know, on Hovin' Ragtime, they write them for unison things on the piano, and that's easy. They didn't write them for accordions. Let's try that again. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a darn good cakewalk. Yeah. We got some more cakewalks coming up. More <laughs> cakewalks than anybody else on Facebook Live. 
<laughs> at least tonight. <laughs> at least tonight. Until John Lee Torres does his next show. <laughs> Let's see here. So we got a drum tricky song, Trey Vuitton. Oh, uh, Taint No Sin, Taint No Sin. Let's see. Da -da 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 I've never heard of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't do two two things like that in a row. Shouldn't do two <laughs> things like that in a row. This is a dance party. It's after a dance all. party. This yeah. is a dance party here. So let's see here. We had a request um, for for um, some other things. So I've got some other surprises here. We've got some other surprises here, like a rumba from Germany. Nice. What? Don't attempt to adjust your set. <laughs> Written by uh, I can't remember, but it was recorded by a woman named Magda Hain on the Wolko label over there in Germany. This is Capri Fischer. It is a German song in Spanish rumba time about Italian fishermen. <laughs> There's a UN meeting right there. <laughs> kind of like that garlic toast I used to buy in Texas. Hey, yeah. <laughs>
the hour here, which means I'm going to do one more tune for you here before we take a little pause for the cause. We'll play some more music from the orchestra. I'll go get some uh, ukulele music for Patty. We'll all have a good old good time. <laughs> so here's a tune for you here. Um, this is one a whole bunch of guys recorded it. I think the best version is um, written by Jacques Renard. Jacques Renard and that wonderful Coconut Grove Orchestra. Here's a tune called You Went Away Too Far and Stayed Away Too Long. Thank you. 
your fault is all your own. You left me all alone. I'm not to blame if someone came to cheer me along. I met somebody who resembled you. Kissed me once and what was I to do? You went away too far and stayed away too long. Checkers go to work. That's a wonderful tune there called Went Away Too Far and Stayed Away Too Long. Well, I'm going I'm to grab some more pomade too while I'm up there. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, so uh, on that thing, let's advance to track number three. Let's play another Walter Donaldson number. Okay, so it's, um, I want to make sure here, I have disc. It looks like it says 21 from here, disc 21. Okay. That's correct. Okay. So skip ahead to track three. All right. And here's Walter Donaldson arranged by your friend and mine. Mr. Frank Skinner, the pride of Maradocia, Illinois. <laughs> My baby don't care for clothes My baby just cares for me My baby don't care for furs and laces My baby don't care for high tone places My baby don't care for rings Or other expensive things She's sensible as can be My baby don't care who knows it My baby just cares for Day that I fell in love in a great big way And the big surprise is someone loves me too Yes, it's hard for you to see Just what anyone can see in me But it simply goes to prove what love can do channel your inner uh, Jerry Lewis as much as I don't like that guy. You act like it's a telethon. It's oh, like, oh it's, I, I was thinking the 
You make my nerves. Hey, that's, that actually might be. That's kind Jerry of Lee Lewis. Lewis. Not Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> Guy got a lot of mileage out of that. <laughs> still does. Hell, he's still playing. I love this. This I like this pillow. It's dandy. This is nice. He isn't. I mean, you know, it's it's nice to have a cushion to sit on and and not have your tailbone stick it. <laughs> All right, Patty. commercials they have like the, the earth, you know the other thing that goes around is all these all these covid commercials from like subaru oh. and yeah, any store and they all they all go like they all go like this uh -huh. they go <laughs> we at subaru <laughs> are concerned in times love, like these in times like these <laughs> We, we, we care about you, and, uh, and and that's why we're offering a special deal on these used cars. And one of them was something like eighty damn thousand dollars. Like no, no, people are getting stimulus checks, and you're 
harping on about eighty thousand dollars. Every time I hear it, I want him to go on and go. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, anyhow. Okay. Let's move along. Let's move along. Because I'm I'm a, I'm a strummer. I can't really do chords and then sing and do like effing and stuff like ukulele, I can those guys. So I'm I'm limited with the U, but there you go. There you go. Something something different. We have two people who have who have both said that either they are drinking something and some flew out of their news or do not do this to me while I'm drinking. So that was a hit. <laughs> We may have some people watching in Japan. Good morning to you. Good morning. Tada hitori, tana shiku, sabi ishi oru wa. Ano ya wo, sasso hote, sotome de te meri ba. Ineroi, kagayaku, suki no jikara ni. Watashi no kokoru wa. Oh, Good morning to you over there in Japan. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, yeah, we're having some good time. We're talking about of what why love makes Subaru Subaru <laughs> and all that fun stuff. So uh, let's get back. Oh, I gotta shuffle this stuff around here because I actually wrote a set list. <gasps> Oh, man. I wrote a set list. I know. <laughs> How dare I know what's coming up next? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. We got some fun stuff. It's hour two now. Hour two of our vintage dance party. Roll up the carpet for a good old good one. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
face is old kazoo. <laughs> yeah, that's from a show. That's from a short. I think it's called like, like Night Court or Night. Not 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 the seventies. Not the show. I guess. Not the seventies Night Court, but it's something like <laughs> Night Police or something like that. Anyway, it's this it's this whole group of people, and they're at a, a nightclub in the speakeasy days, and they're all dragged into a courtroom. The band, the people, the dancers, <laughs> and and the judge. In order to really understand what happened, he asked them to repeat. The, the things that happened how in that day. Yeah, for how us convenient to watch. Because everybody's there. Yeah. And so they, they do that tune and they dance to it and sing it. And that's when Erastus plays his old kazoo. That's a good that's a good tune. Well, we haven't done a mashish yet. And we really should. We should do a mashish because after all, this is a vintage dance party, folks. Straight gin. No, oh, just kidding. It's water. It's water. <laughs> you got to alternate got to alternate. Yeah. I have an not. early morning because I have to try to attempt to get break through the IRS phone oh, call and, and oh, talk man. to them about my, my stimulus check. Yes, I, we have not received this. We have not received it. And, you know, I want to get an early start with those people. <laughs> yeah. and, and, you know, you know, I should, I should be a good person and tell you, I found this whole chain of command it took to finally figure out how to talk to a human being. You push one, <laughs> you push two. You push three. You ignore this. Push four. It's crazy. It's crazy. Didn't you have to Google it? You had to. I Googled it. I found it on lifehackers.com. <laughs> How to talk to a human being at the IRS. Ridiculous. Oh, man. So, yeah, I have an early morning. <laughs> I think five in the morning I'll do it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to be up that early, but eh, probably probably early enough to get the job done. Yeah. So here's a mishish for you.
just with yeah. that trio. Yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> but it just ends after that trio. I feel like it needs to go back to this one. Yeah. Well, it's, it's funny because um, actually a, a, a couple folks on here were talking about you know, learning the choreography, which I learned in the early 90s from Richard Powers and Flying Cloud. And we still perform that choreography, but to a different tune. But this is the best tune for doing the mashish. It's, Buenos Dias is, is fantastic. Oh, well, you didn't go so, folks. <laughs> <laughs> didn't go so good. <laughs> you didn't go so well compared to, uh, or down in Zanzibar. That's another popular mashish. Yeah, that's the one that we, that we do it to now when we perform. Oh, okay. I need to learn that one. Next time. Yeah, next time. next time. The great Richard Powers keeping all this stuff going. Here, yes. there, and everywhere. Just like a Beatles song. Anyway, well, speaking of Richard Powers, I was really, really fortunate to work with him and Mary uh, last year in Chattanooga. And it wasn't Chattanooga, but don't be fooled. It was the San Diego Vintage Dance Society. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got to, got to play the music for the whole week, except for the 19th century night. I know when I'm licked. So we <laughs> found the fiddle and guitar duo. And they were great. But everything else I got to do all the music for, and it was great. And uh, Richard asked me one night, musicians will perk up at this, do you have anything in 3-2? I said, I do not. Ah. But he suggested a tune to me, and I found an arrangement. And uh, it's a tune called The Moochie. So I'll play it for you right now. This is, uh, uh, yeah, don't try this at home. Unless you want a copy of the stock. <laughs> In three, two. <laughs> That's right. Musicians actually have to think. We have to think <laughs> about that one. Oh, it sounds like a foxtrot, but it is not. It is not. It is not. So, uh, waltz time now here. Waltz time. This will appease folks on both sides of the Atlantic. As first recorded by Henry Burr in 1927. Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Are you sorry we drifted apart? Does your memory stray 
to a bright summer day when I kissed you and called you sweetheart. Do the chairs in your parlor seem empty and bare? Do you gaze at your doorstep and picture me there? Does your heart fill with pain? Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear, are you lonesome tonight? Throw the high note, man. Are you lonesome tonight? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to sing it in German this time. Yeah. Bist du einsam, heute Nacht? Wer fragt einsam, heute Nacht? Bist du traurig, dass alles so kann? Wenn dein Herz nun so ruht, und den Sommer vor Glück, in dein Herz ohne Sonne und Sand, leg dir heute einen Fällen, du Wehmut. In den Räumen durch die Ruhe, nun gehst du ohne mich. Sind die Träume schon da, diese Schatten der Nacht. Der Rekord ist nur eins in heute Nacht. the Desilu ending. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, this next tune here I'm going to play for you is a tune called Smiles and Chuckles. It was written by a guy named F. Henry Clickman, who played, of all things, the accordion, if you can believe that. And he was also the primarily uh, arranger for a wonderful band at the turn of the century, well, in 19-teens, uh, the Six Brown Brothers, Six Brown Brothers, the great saxophone band. And uh, music, with their picture, it turns up from time to time, and I have a couple of them. This is, I get to be Josh Duffy right now. I get Teddy Brown music, so we've got a couple of them right here. Hopefully that's in view. That's uh, Six Brown Brothers right there on a copy of sheet music. And here's another one they did. Uh, actually, Dan Levinson recorded this tune on his Eleven Sons of Rosie CD, a tune called Don't Bring Me Posies. It's the shoesies that I need. And there they are, <laughs> the Six Brown Brothers right there. With that wonderful bass saxophone. And their crazy clown outfits is awesome. Yeah, that's right. How do you sleep at night with such big buttons on your pajamas? <laughs> <laughs> so um, here's a tune the Six Brown Brothers did. It was a very popular hit for them. And the mute sheet music says, Jazz, One Step, Foxtrot. It, it was 1917, so they were throwing anything against the wall to see what would stick. <laughs> but here it is. You can do whatever you want to it. I believe it is a one step, but you're the guys dancing, not me. So... I'll leave it up to you. Here's Smiles and Chuckles. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
yeah. Chuckles. Yeah, it's the one with the bob on it, I guess. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I don't think it's a crafty, stupid fan. There we go. Okay. There we go. <laughs> In space. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Smiles and Chuckles. Written by F. Henry Clickman, played by the Six Brown Brothers. Yeah. Right there. Let's see here. Before we break into an oriental foxtrot, I want to talk about our next bit of show and tell here. Yes, Dude, this we're is very exciting. exciting. Okay, so here in the Queen City of Cincinnati, the uh, Queen City of the North, um, there was uh, a couple of really important bands. There was uh, the Chubb Steinberg Orchestra, which um, actually grew out of an appliance store, believe it or not. You know, that was, that was the day, you know. An appliance <laughs> store that also had dance bands. Yes. Today, it's like, you're lucky if you go to Best Buy and they have the and they have the Katy Perry CD. And ones. you know what Subaru offers. <laughs> That's right. But it's what makes Subaru Subaru. So anyhow, um, the Chubb Steinberg Orchestra, which played at a number of places that are actually still standing, which is really cool. We gotta go <laughs> spelunk. But also, there was a, a Chicago-based band. Um, they were a... Uh, the Benson organization. Benson, uh, you know, ran a bunch of society bands and kind of like a Meyer Davis type. <laughs> Meyer Davis. Like a Meyer Davis. And, uh, <laughs> anyway, and so um, they had a guy working for him by the name of Fred Ham. Fred Ham, H-A-M-M, no relation to the beer. He uh, was part of the Benson organization and eventually took over the Benson organization and be it became his thing. But he had a series of bands that he would go and play. He did a lot of records when he was in Chicago. Um, under different names, but he also, when he came to Cincinnati, if you Google Fred Ham, you'll instantly find something called the uh, Liberty Dance Orchestra. Uh, the Liberty Dance Orchestra. Yes. Is that an interview on the phone? How does that look? There's a little bit of a delay, but oh, I, it's perfect actually. I'm looking at your phone recording. It's perfect. The Liberty Dance Orchestra. <laughs> this drum, ladies and gentlemen, we found this drum here in Cincinnati, and this is, we have every reason to believe that this was the drum used by Fred Ham and his orchestra, yes. his Liberty Dance Orchestra, when they did job in Cincinnati. Right here, right here. <laughs> now you can see it does have a tear in the front uh, calf skin there, but it's actually superficial. It has an older repair on the back, it's still hanging in there, so if I were to tighten this thing up, she still got it. <laughs> but anyway, so there it is. We couldn't believe it when we saw it. I've seen it. It's had my eyes on it for a couple of months now. And finally was able to pick it up. But from Fred Ham and his uh, Liberty Dance Orchestra to my living room, <laughs> here it is. And I'm toying with the idea of paying homage to this drum and Mr. Ham and all the great music uh, in Cincinnati and elsewhere in the 1920s. And I think I might call my, my band up here the new Liberty Dance Orchestra. Yes. How about them apples? But anyway, oh, that's our new find. That's our new find. New family member. Welcome home. Welcome home. <laughs> that makes three bass drums here. Three bass drums. Never mind the fact I'm the third worst drummer in the world. <laughs> I'm the third worst drummer in the world. We won't talk about the, the, those other <laughs> two unfortunate people. But there it is. Fred Hamp and his Liberty Dance Orchestra. How yes. that? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We're jazzed, as the young folks would say. <laughs> but back to more music. A little bit of water here, because we got to head to the desert. we got to head to the desert right now, where it's dry. We're going to go to Suez. There's one simply called Suez. <laughs> Oh, 
when I pitch my tent near the desert sand. There's like a blazing flame, you wandered back, love to me again. It's Suez, wondrous Suez, when I was captured by your love. Oriental foxtrots that I know of. Yes. Yeah. Oh, all that time in the desert. Man. Need some water. I should put a pedal on this thing and I go boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and a low boy. I can have the low boy and boom, chick, boom, chick, yeah. boom, chick. That costs extra, folks. Right. Speaking yes. of extra, remember we do have the tip jar. I pinned the comment, but in case you're curious and you want to see me say it in real time, it is paypal.me slash Matt Tolentino, or you can hang out with me on Venmo, whatever that means, at uh, Matt-Tolentino-1. So here it is. It's also going up on the accordion there, and you can also see my pinned comment with all of the uh, flight and all of the uh, information. Uh, so there you have it. Well, it's time for a grizzly bear. A grizzly bear, uh, or an animal dance. This is another free space on your bingo card. You can get silly on this one, folks. If you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down in the woods today, you better go in the sky. For every bear that ever there was, says, yeah, the day will certainly come. Day's the day the teddy bears have their peace. side is hush 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 here comes the boogeyman a tune it was recorded so well the bbc used it to calibrate their broadcast equipment well into the late 1960s that's right on an old 78 on an old 70 it really does sound fantastic if you go on youtube or if you're lucky enough to own a copy so there you go mm -hmm. uh any any requests before i should press on like nails uh. press on I've got one full page and, one then, full page. Oh, and then a few on another page. I should have asked earlier. My goodness. My goodness. Let's see here. 
Oh, Piecho's Return. Oh, man, I gotta get that one soon. That's a, a wonderful Piecho Dero tune. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll do Sharpshooters, because that's, that's another tune he recorded. <laughs> for a new wonder, little 78. No repeats, <laughs> no repeats, just, just do it. go. Just go. So, uh, TL Delay, that's for you, sort of. Uh, Pietro's Return, that's a great tune, I've gotta learn it. It's full of bellow shakes. So, I'll learn it, I'll learn it. So, I hope Sharpshooters, which uh, Pietro did record, I hope that'll tide you over till the meantime. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see here, I'm looking at these requests here. Lots of fox trotty type things, so um, I'm gonna get back to some of these. But I, I do want to uh, stick with our dance theme here and play a tango. So, uh, and a tango. Will I leave you with the cliff hanging? The end? Who knows? We'll find out. This is a tune that has three different titles that I'm aware of. Could be more. Some call it as Pablo the Dreamer. Uh, sometimes it's called Adios Muchachos. And uh, it was later revived in the 1950s called I Get Ideas. So, three titles, one song. <laughs> Thank you. 
tango yes. cliffhanger. <laughs> There'll be more tangos. There'll be more tangos coming up later on. After all, this is a dance party. Roll up the carpet. Let's have some fun. Yeah. Let's see here. Um, does anyone have any waltzes on this next one? Uh, any other waltzes? No. Okay. I'm going to do one more waltz, and then I'll pick something off the latest request line right here. So, uh, let's see here. Pablo. Oh, falling in love again. <laughs> list here. I'll pick something off of this list here. Um, since we've done a few different dance forms now, we can get back to some other stuff. Larry Emia, I'm going to do your tune. I'm going to do your request. This is a little outside the era here. Hopefully Facebook won't mute me. Oh. We'll see what happens. But, um, you know, once again, you know, I've kind of talked about him, even even prior to his, his unfortunate death, but uh, Ian Whitcomb. I've talked about Ian Whitcomb because, of course, in addition to him playing accordion, you know, he knew a million tunes. And he was kind of like, in all serious, he was kind of like Tiny Tim. And I know Tiny Tim, you know, a lot of people laugh about Tiny Tim, but when you get down to it, he was one of the greatest musicologists oh, yeah. of the 20th century. He, and even earlier stuff, he believed if the tune was from 1880 or 1980, if it was good, it was worth playing. And he knew so much about, mm -hmm. so much music. And Ian Wickholm was the same way. He would play a tune from 1920 on a gig and then turn right around and do something for 1960. And you know, 
being a purist, that's that's great. I, I'm really a purist when you think about it. But you know, I, I do love a lot of melodies from many different eras. And uh, so here's a chance to do that for you right now. Uh, so Larry, here's your tune. <laughs> Then Dalton, we're on to you here. <laughs> crazy. I'm crazy for feeling so lonesome. I'm crazy. Crazy for feeling so blue. just said that you could actually make that into a decent waltz. <laughs> good tune. Adrian Rolini, it's the first version I heard of it, but uh, Bernie Cummins did it, so did Ted Weems. Uh, let's see here. It's a tune called You've Got Everything. I actually opened a broadcast with this one a few weeks ago. I just had to remember what key it's in. Let's see. Bear with me. This is technical stuff, folks. Oh, I had it for the day. What key? So many keys, so little time. <laughs> B flat. How's that grab you? In case you're following along. Go for it. No, that's not it. A flat. A flat. Listen that and these 
and lows. I forgot to mention that undefinable something. That's what you've got. Chicago way, Dalton Deal. There you go. I love that tune. You've got everything. And Bernie Cummins had a great version of that tune. But again, Adrian Rolini's the first one I heard. First one I heard. Yeah. Well, Susie, we're in hour three now. Anything can happen. <laughs> it happens. Anything can happen. But not without a nice slow foxtrot for you. Written by Percy Winrich, who was uh, regarded as the Joplin Kid. Not because he played a lot of Joplin, but because he was from Joplin, Missouri. And uh, he was able to retire at the ripe old age of, well, I believe he was sometime in his 30s when he retired. Because <laughs> of all the royalties from his songs, he was like, hey, forget this. Yeah. I'm going to enjoy myself. So uh, here's a nice little tune. Any November birthdays out there? Keep your hands up. Okay, there you go. <laughs> well, here's a tune for you. This is a little tune about November. A nice sweet little tune called Sweet Cider Time When You Were Mine. <laughs> Let's see you mute that Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> That's public domain. Yay. Yay. Public domain. public domain. You know, the words on that were written by Joe McCarthy. That's not the guy that tried to tell everyone they were communists in the 50s. <laughs> but he was a different guy. It was a lyricist. He wrote the same lyrics to Alice Bluegown, among others. Nice lyrics. Nice yeah. lyrics, in case you were curious. 
Well, let's see here. Um, oh, Kyle, it's Kyle's birthday next week. All right, so I'll work up. <laughs> It's catching. This used to be Irwin's request, but now it's Tom Tumbush's. We're going to move up to 1918. Here is Tarzan of the Apes. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> song while we let the dancers go and uh, get their drink and freshen <laughs> up here. Let's see here. Let's see here. What, what kind of tune should I do? You're, you're the expert. What kind of a, we've done, you know, I did like foxtrots, I did tango. What should I do to, to wrap up this set? Well, there, there was a, someone just recently requested a polka and Amy Bishop just said a polka. So I, I am going to give her request to you. Fair enough. That'll <laughs> work. That'll work. All right, Amy. So uh, hope to see you next year for the um, for the uh, uh, big WRR thing. Spoiler alert. Ah. Anyhow, here we go. This is a I'll play a polka for you. This is my favorite of the domesticated polkas. This is the Pennsylvania. <laughs> Strike up the music. The band is begun. Pennsylvania polka. Pick out your partner and join in the fun. Started in Scranton, it's now number one. It's bound to entertain ya. Everybody has the mania to dance the polka from Pennsylvania. While they're 
four on there. Four a on nice you. sweet tune. And now off of the new Rivermont album, The Singapore Slingers, for your listening pleasure. <laughs> I'll be right back. JK is the gimp folks. Yes. Ah. It's for you, Joe. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. All right. Yep, that's the new Singapore Slinger CD that'll be coming out very soon on Rivermont. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. Again, my thanks to Brian for really knocking himself out for doing a fine job with all the mixing and mastering on that. And uh, Danielle's working on the cover. I submitted the liner notes, so it'll be off to the pressing plant very soon. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> that's very exciting. <laughs> well, we are back now for the real live music now. Not stuffed, real music. 
live. Here we go. We'll start off with a cakewalk. All you dancers. <laughs> quite some time. He ah. asked for Roses of Picardy. Here's the thing about Roses of Picardy, and maybe some of the other music folks will help explain this to me. But I have this thing called tune decks that's like literally thousands of tunes on little index card sized things. It's not in there. I went through every fake book I have. It's not in there. <laughs> I went through all this stuff. I have. It's not in there. Yet it's public domain, and it's available online to download and print. But why is it not in any fake books. I don't believe it. I couldn't believe it. So he kept asking me for this tune, and last week I was going to play it. I was like, I have it on my phone, but what is my phone doing? It's doing, it's, it's broadcasting the show. So I couldn't do that. So this week I have it. I have actually never, as much as I've heard this tune, I've actually never played it before. I didn't even get a chance to rehearse it. That's how hard it was to find this freaking thing. I don't know why. But anyway, here is Roses of Picardy. Hope you like it. Thank you. 
chocolate donuts. I was thinking El Chocolate Donuts. See, that's how it starts. That's Everything it starts. comes back to food in this house. We love it. Cover them with schmutter them with How's our viewership? How's our viewership looking? We're at like about just under 60. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's not so bad. You can hang good. in there. Yeah. Got to pick it up, I guess. Yeah, I mean, Doreen had to go to sleep out in London. And, you know, she's That's in right. England, and, you know, the people are kind of coming and going. That's right. Got to pick it up, I guess. Yeah. Kids, kids want to rock. <laughs> Thank you. 
There's a rockin' tune. That's a good one. Meow. Yahoo! <laughs> That's a good name. <laughs> That's a good name. From Ohio, Colton, Ohio, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact. How about a shottish? How about a shottish? Why okay. should we do something? No, we should we should mix them up. Yeah, we yeah, should mix them up. Yeah, mix them. Mix them up. Whatever you feel like is good. <laughs> Thank you. 
European shottish, different than the castle shottish. Yes, a little, a little different there. A little bit different. All right, well, we're moving along here, moving along here. Let's see. Uh, we did a, uh, oh, we should do a waltz. Oh, yeah, it's been a little while. A brisk one. Actually, oh. um, I have a, another list of requests. People have been chiming in. Oh, good. Um, but Leslie just asked for Alice Blue Gown in three, three picks. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. You can do that. Blue gown in yeah. three. Nice. In three. Yeah, thank you, Leslie. Thank you for tuning in and for giving us a waltz. I was just talking about playing a waltz. So thank you. Don your <laughs> Well, this next tune is written in three, but don't let it fool you. It's a pasa doble. Six, eight, or three, four. Actually, it is written in three, four, but it's not a waltz. <laughs> Hasta 
Fisher earlier, El Relicario, Pennsylvania Polka. Let's see what's on this other one. Oh, Peg of My Heart. I should do that too. That was my grandfather's favorite song. Oh. <laughs> YouTube, you can hear Irving Kaufman talking about singing Peg of My Heart. Aww. He's, uh, he had an album that was re uh, produced by, I guess you would call it a super fan in the 1970s, that uh, wanted him to do one more recording. And it's called Reminisce with Irving Kaufman. That LP is rare as hen's teeth. But um, it's him in the 1970s. Uh, it's just him and his piano player, who uh, was his wife at the time, I believe. Huh. Um, anyway, and he sings Peg of My Heart. And he talks about how uh, he, you know, Irving Kaufman, in addition to being in the studio, he would actually go and sing on vaudeville. He wasn't just a studio cat. He was out there doing gigs and playing and then coming into the studio and doing all sorts of things. Uh, but he's talking about, uh, he goes into the, I think it was the Feist Publishing House, and there's a stack of music on a shelf, and uh, it's 1912 or so. And he says uh, to, the, to the managing the director there, uh, what's this song? And he says, oh, you don't want that song. He says, oh, come on, let me give it a shot. And he did it, he said, all up and down Broadway there, and the crowds loved it. And so he claims he introduced Peggy Matt Hart first, but William Frawley, i.e. Fred Mertz, claims he was the first to introduce on Broadway. So I don't know. I don't know. They're probably, they're probably still figuring it out. Give it to Irving. He's awesome. I'll give it to Irving, yeah. yeah. But, uh... <laughs> You know, William Frawley made an LP of him singing. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Fred Mertz. Anyway, Oriental Moon was a was a William Frawley composition. That's right. I tried to learn that one. I couldn't quite work it out. Um, let's see here. Um, I may be wrong. That's Foxtrot. I'll save that one for a little bit. Um, let's see what's on that next uh, pile of requests there. Let's see what's see what's there. Let's see what we got. It's a little uh, a little bit of a mix. Good. 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 We like that. All right, and uh, I'm in heaven when I see you smile. Uh, 
Nickelodeon. People must have liked that one last week. All right. Good to sing about calico. <laughs> Very rare chant. There you go. 
Ah, well, we are we are reaching the end, folks. About the it's end here. There. Thanks again for hanging out with us. Whether you've rolled up the carpet or not, thanks so much. And it's good to have these requests too. Sure appreciate that. Sure appreciate that because I tried to put enough tunes in my set list and I found that I've I just run right through them. So thanks so much for giving me some other things here and some things to work on. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see, Brazil. <laughs> Back in Marilyn Myers. Yeah. No AC and all. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Susie. Brazil. Brazil. 1929 on that one. Let's see here. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Oh, Wabash Cannon. Or Orange Blossom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did. I was gonna say it takes me back to my Snerd. It? Um, it was um rodeo. Yeah. <laughs> yep, and then he like lead it into uh Orange Blossom's fresh <laughs> Two more tunes. Uh, Orlot, hang in there. Your song's gonna close us tonight. Your song's gonna close us out tonight. Um, let me think here. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Wow, I've actually got through everything on my list and a lot of these pegging my heart. A Michigan rag. Yeah, Mario, we'll get that on next week. Crazy, we did that. You've got everything, we did that. Oh, just like a melody out of the sky. I gotta learn that. That's a that's a cool tune. That's a cool tune. Um, let's see here. Uh, oh, you beautiful doll. Um, did that one last week, so I gotta give it a rest this time. I'll come back for that one next week. Um, so yeah, actually, let's just close with Orwat's tune. 
thanks a lot for hanging out with us here. And uh, whether you've been dancing or, or just enjoying yourselves, enjoying a brew, a glass of water, a cup of ice cream, you know, whatever makes you happy. Thanks again. And of course, tips are not required, but they're sure appreciated. It is Venmo, right here, Matt-Tolentino-1. Or you can do PayPal. That's paypal.me slash Matt Tolentino. Again, they are certainly not required, but very, very much appreciated. Always. Yeah. So thanks again. And um, we're going to close with the tune here, Orwell requested. It's from uh, one of those wonderful almanac shows of the late 20s. This is called, uh, I won't say it's F. Murray Abraham like I did that one time. <laughs> That's not right. So here it is from the almanac show of 1929. that said, uh, had sheet music, has three ladies on it. It says, past, tomorrow, and today. So here it is, I may be wrong. Friday, 7 to 9 p.m. See you there, and good night, everyone.